Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am uh, going to be testing out uh, Quill, which is a uh, meal replacement powder. I'm doing a bit of a, um, a three-day challenge where I only eat Quill uh, and protein powder and then like water and soy milk um, for three days. Uh, just for a bit of fun, uh, I'm basically tracking like a couple of different um, variables over the next few days, things like my energy levels, cravings, hunger levels, digestion, uh, and so on. Um, just to, just for a bit of fun, just for a bit of an experiment. Um, I've always, I've sort of always wanted to try, um, uh, meal replacement. I've never really gotten around to doing it. Um, ever since, uh, Soylent came out many years ago. Um, just the idea of like, uh, I mean, I don't love cooking. I, I, cooking tends to be kind of a chore for me. So, um, if I can like get the same amount of nutritious food, um, and still have it taste at least not terrible, then, you know, with, with much less time involvement, that's a huge win for me. Um, so I don't know if I'm probably not going to like ever actually do this um, for every single meal. Um, but this is just for fun. I mean, I, if I, if this works for me and if I enjoy it, I might uh, introduce it for like a couple of meals a week. Um, just when I'm feeling lazy. So, uh, today we've got, um, quill, uh, and we've got two flavors. So, uh, we've got cookies and cream and banana mania. And now if you know me, um, at all, then you probably know that I hate fruit. Uh, I definitely hate bananas. Uh, so, um, we'll see how this flavor goes for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I this, these flavors were given to me, um, as I, I guess they weren't my choice. A friend had three packs and they sold them to me, um, just so that I could try them in the future. I'll probably get the not banana flavors. Um, I, so I'm saving the cookies and cream one for last. Cause I figure like, by the time the third day comes around, I'll be somewhat sick of it, uh, and I should at least have a flavor that I think I'm gonna be more likely to enjoy. So, um, I will put a, throw up a video in a sec of how I measured out the 165 grams. Hey, this is Michael from the future. Uh, so if you're just interested in my conclusion, you can skip ahead to that using the chapters below. Uh, and if you wanna skip ahead to the data presentation, um, you can do that in the chapters below. Enjoy. All right, so I gotta measure out 165 grams of this. Um, I got my like little shaker cup, uh, probably not the ideal one, it's like kind of part of a blender kit, but that's alright. Um, yeah, so just going to measure, like weigh that up in scales. Uh, hopefully, um, I can just shake this and it works. Hopefully I don't have to actually blend it, it'll be a bit annoying. Um, but let's we'll give this a go and we'll uh, touch, back, touch base in a sec. Alright, so these two cups combined is 165 grams, and now we're just going to add some water and shake them up. All right, and now uh, we've got my two, uh, my 165 grams worth of uh, quill plus some water. We're going to try it, uh, and then we're just going to, you know, record myself maybe a few times over the next few days, uh, and see how I feel at the end of the three days, whether this is a total disaster or not. All right. Hmm. So first impression, the banana flavor is not like overwhelmingly banana. I can definitely tell it's banana, um, but it's not actually entirely unpleasant. So the, the consistency is like probably just the right amount for me as well. It's not just water. It's like a bit thicker, um, but not as thick as a smoothie. I'm not a fan of smoothies. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, okay. Overall first sip went well. Using my, um, minus 10 to 10 scale, um, for food and stuff. Um, I'd say, honestly, right now, like actually a four, which is much higher than I expected. That's really cool. Um, nice. So I'm actually going to um, get Satara, my girlfriend, to come in and try it. Uh, and she's a bit, I think she's a little bit more skeptical of liquid meal replacement than I am. But uh, we're going to we're going to go ahead and call her in. Satara, come on down. You have to get okay. in the, make sure you're in the shop. Oh, okay. Do I look then? Yeah. Okay. Hey, so would you like to try a sip of the banana mania? All right, let's do this. It's a bit neutral. You're dripping. You just dripped all over my floor. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apart, yep, apart from that, how was it? It's actually not that banana-y. Yeah, which is good, right? Yeah, maybe not for you. Like that. That's for me. Look, for me, that's good. Like it needs to be a bit sweeter for me. I feel like I okay. could drink like a whole glass of it. Oh, interesting. I feel like I could. Mm. It does have. I think it's got added sugar. 
Yeah. It's a sweetener. Maybe yeah. it's not sugar. Yeah, I think I need a bit more sweetness. Okay. But then it's it's okay. Mm. Like I'd probably give it like two. Okay. Still positive. That's good. It's yeah. It doesn't. It's not like repulsive. Yeah. But like it's not enjoyable either. You know. Yeah. Um. I kind of like it. I mean, I'm not like super into sweet mm. foods, I guess, le- less so than you at least. Mm. So for me, it's uh, not too bad. In fact, uh, if it was sweeter, it, that might be a bad thing for oh. me. Um, then it might be like too sweet to, to drink this yeah. three times a day for meals. Yeah, but, that's true. If it's your only um, meal, I guess, then you probably don't want it to be yeah. overwhelmingly sweet. But so far, I'm feeling good about this. Yes. I mean, it was... Did I time myself? Not really, but it took like maybe three or four minutes to make and probably mm. next time it would take two minutes to make. Yeah. Um, so, you know, two minutes to make something like this, which is pretty nutritious and possibly tasty. That's possibly. a win. <laughs> All right. Just finished my two glasses of quill. Um, not bad. It did get a little bit less tasty over the, um, over the course of that. Uh, I think, I think I might've gotten the quantities a little bit wrong. So, um, in the end I had a different amount of, um, the powder in each of these cups, but I put the same amount of water, which is a bit of a mistake. The second cup was more watery and less tasty. So I just got to make sure to put less water. I'm sure I'll like work out the proper ratios at some point, but a little bit less water, I think would be better. It was like more of a runny kind of watery texture as well, which wasn't uh, the best. Um, overall, yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how, what happens. Uh, we'll check back in maybe at lunchtime when I have another one. Uh, see if I'm getting sick of the flavor or not. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll check back with, with you soon. All right, just had lunch. Uh, another lovely um, banana flavored quail. Um, flavor's okay, maybe I can see myself getting sick of it by the third time by dinner tonight, but uh, so far it's still about the same, um, same level of enjoyment. Um, I put a little bit less water this time and it's a bit thicker and a bit more enjoyable, so I'm going to try and maintain that level of water. Alright, so just had lunch, uh, some more lovely banana flavoured quail. Uh, yeah, it was about the same level of enjoyment, um, not particularly better, not particularly worse. I can definitely see myself getting sick of the banana flavour. Um, in not too long there probably by dinner I can imagine I might be pretty sick of it but um, I put a little bit less water this time and it was a bit thicker which made it I think a bit more enjoyable um, in texture wise and uh, I also um, measured out how many cups of powder it is so it's uh, just over one cup of powder is 165 grams or like what they recommend for one meal um, yeah so one thing I'm actually interested about um, so I don't know how many calories I expend in a day. I haven't really had made like a good effort of ever trying to estimate that. Um, so uh, three servings of quill, um, like three meals is um, based on the recommended amount. Um, it's like about the level that the average adult male uh, expends in terms of energy. Um, now, when I'm super active, which is like right now, uh, climbing a lot, gym, running, uh, I probably spend, expend a lot more energy than the average adult male. Uh, I don't know how much more. So, um, I wonder if like that's enough calories. It's probably not. Um, I'm not taking into account, um, protein powder, uh, which I'm still going to have twice a day and soy milk, which I'll probably still drink like one or two cups a day during this trial. Um, so that's a bit more, but yeah, I, I don't know if that's like, necessarily meeting my calories. I am cutting at the moment, so it's probably, it might be good actually, um, like to have fewer calories. Uh, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, um, longer term, like for three days, I'm not so worried, but longer term if I was doing this, I might might be a little bit more concerned about, um, am I getting enough calories for like, re- to repair my body and recover um, after exercise? So. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll keep keep an eye on that in the next few days. But um, right now, I'm feeling okay. In terms of like my stomach, um, it's like kind of hard to tell if I feel full. I think I think I am, but my body's also like a bit confused because it doesn't have like it didn't get solid food. So maybe it's like like I'm, I don't know how to explain it. I'm like this weird in between state between like full and satisfied and not satisfied. Like I don't feel like I need to eat more, but it just doesn't feel the same as if I like ate a regular like solid lunch. Uh, yeah, interesting. We'll keep an eye on that in the next few days. All right, that's it for now. 
All right, so we're on day two. Initially, I was planning on recording me having dinner last night. Uh, so my my first plan was um, because I have two packs of uh, banana flavor and two pack one pack sorry of cookie and cream. My plan was to have the banana in the first few days and the cookie and cream save that for the last day, um, figuring that that would be the flavor I enjoy more, uh, and to save that one for the last day so that I'm not getting um, like by then I'll probably be sick of uh, it and maybe need like the boost in flavor to be able to get through the last day. Um, but then uh, yesterday afternoon I decided I'd just have the cookie and cream one for dinner uh, on each of the three days. Um, seemed like it might be a better way to split it and I was also starting to struggle with the banana flavor a little bit. Um, the, I realized the idea of having banana flavor again for dinner uh, was pretty bad. So yeah, uh, I got back from the gym, I went climbing. Um, not my best session, I felt pretty low energy. Um, Still was able to get like a fair bit done um, and just focus on drills mostly rather than um, like projecting and doing new hard climbs. Uh, just focusing on technique, I guess. But yeah, it was a little bit hard to concentrate. Mentally, didn't feel the best and physically didn't feel like I had as much energy as I normally do. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I felt fine for most of the day and then kind of around 3.30 or 4 p.m. sort of hit this wall. So I... I went climbing at um, 4.30 um, so that I could come home and have dinner earlier, uh, which so I went climbing a little bit earlier than I normally do. Um, by the time I got back, I was so hungry. I could, I was struggling a little bit to speak. Um, and yeah, I, I had to really just have that um, cookies and cream as fast as I could. Uh, look, in terms of the taste, um, it was pretty good. It was like, probably a six uh, from minus and a 10. Um, so much better than the banana one. But uh, I was I was so hungry, um, Satara asked for a sip and I had to say no because I was afraid that if I didn't get every single sip then I wouldn't have enough calories. I was like that hungry. Um, I was like licking the inside of the cup, uh, <laughs> like licking the chocolate off my face. Um, yeah, but, I mean, it's interesting because I, f I, I went to bed and then I, I went to bed quite hungry and I woke up now um, and like I feel fine this morning and actually like I I forced myself to finish the banana shake this morning the banana um, quill uh, because I just didn't feel that hungry so I don't know if it's because I'm adapting um, I mean uh, like th so the number of calories or like the calories that you get is not a direct correlation with like your satiation you could have like a very small but calorie dense meal or a very large but calorie not dense meal. So maybe it's just that I'm adapting, my stomach is adapting to like um, more calorie dense foods uh, that you don't have to eat as much. So I'm not feeling as satiated. Um, I did feel like I was low energy yesterday, like independent of that. Um, hard to tell maybe. But yeah, maybe I'm getting used to it. I don't know, maybe it's just in the morning I tend to feel better. We'll see, I guess the, how I feel tonight will be the big the big test. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, I'll check back in probably tonight because I'm going into the office today in the city. So uh, we'll see you then. Hey folks, all right, we're having dinner on day two. Um, boy, I feel tired. Uh, yeah, like pretty low energy. Um, uh, so I, well, I, I gotta eat because I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this first. This is the cookies and cream. I um, already had actually half my dinner, but I wanted to record myself actually consuming it. Um, so we'll eat and then we'll talk about how we're feeling. And I managed to spill some on myself. Good job. Um, yeah, so it's pretty tasty. I really like it. Um, this one's really nice. The texture's good as well. I mean, it's obviously the same texture, but I think the texture is more enjoyable when it tastes like this. It's just like chocolate. Um, yeah, it's nice. I don't know why they called it cookies and cream or whatever it is instead of chocolate, but tasty. So yeah, I think I'd still give this one like a six, maybe a seven out of 10, uh, or from minus 10 to 10. All right, so, um, so last yesterday I've said that uh, last night before dinner, I was like super dead. Um, not as bad today. Um, and it kicked in kind of a little bit later. So yesterday I went to the gym, uh, at 4.30 and, um, like pretty much at 4.30ish, maybe five, I started to just get like really hungry, really, 
uh, really tired. And that kind of kicked in at around six today, which, and so I managed to I started working out at like five thirty, I think today. So I managed to get like halfway through my workout. Um, wasn't climbing, just at the gym. Um, and I think I think my energy wasn't like super affected today at the gym. Um, but as soon as I started walking home, which is a 15 minute walk, I really started to notice it. And by the time I got home, I was like really just craving some sustenance. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, at lunch and at breakfast today, I felt like I couldn't, um, like I almost couldn't finish the, the, the allocation. Um, so like I ha ended up having, like, I mean, I forced myself to have it, um, but it, it felt like. Um, I could have stopped you know, quite happily for breakfast and lunch today. Um, and that was the same case for yesterday. So I wonder if, um, rather than having like three rounds of 165, maybe I need to have like, uh, less in the morning, maybe, maybe the same at lunch and then a bit more in the evening or something like that. Um, rather than just having like each of them the same, uh, I'm not going to actually, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to try that tomorrow. We'll see if that makes it any better. I'm going to have a little bit less in the morning, let's say 15% less. Same for lunch, 15% more in de for dinner, and I'll probably have an earlier dinner. Um, yeah, when I, when, I, when I woke up this morning, I felt like perfectly fine compared to when I went to sleep last night, I was like still pretty hungry, um, just not debilitatingly so. Um, but overall, um, you know, still happy to be here, still happy to be doing this challenge. Um, so I'm gonna finish this and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Hey everyone, all right, we're here at the end of day three. Uh, I've had my last meal of quail. Um, I tried out that experiment today where I um, had a little bit less for breakfast, um, had like maybe 15% less for breakfast, same for lunch, and then 15% more for dinner. Um, and feel a little bit better. Uh, I mean, I, I I think I ate dinner a little bit earlier and then went to the gym rather than other way around, um, which probably helped. Uh, yeah, I'm like still pretty hungry. I think even after I ate, like finished dinner a few hours ago, I was like still pretty hungry. Um, yeah, but didn't like get to the point where especially last day and well both days actually uh, last night and the night before um felt really really low energy uh, and kind of wrecked um yeah so i think we made it um interesting experiment uh, i've got all my um data that i've been taking over the last few days and i'll keep taking data over the next few days uh and then maybe uh in two days time i'll like collate that talk about it talk about kind of the experience overall um it was an interesting experiment though uh, one thing I don't think I mentioned yesterday is uh, kind of interesting. I um, Yesterday afternoon, I noticed I was getting really thirsty and that's something that um, has stayed pretty much consistent over the last few uh, since then uh, to now. Um, I drink a lot of water and I feel like I'm drinking the same amount of water, but I feel really thirsty. Um, yeah, not like debilitatingly so, but definitely like way thirsty than I usually am, uh, even when I'm trying to drink a lot of water. Um, and I, I don't know what that is. Uh, I, I feel like I would have been less thirsty. I feel like I would have been having more water because I'm drinking like half water, half powder, basically. Um, but a friend of mine had an interesting idea. Maybe it's because like when I eat normally, I'm like what food has water in it. And then also I'm drinking water usually with a meal. So maybe like, cause I'm just drinking the shake and I don't really drink water at the same time as the shake. Um, maybe I'm actually getting less water, even though it feels like I'm not. Uh, but interestingly, kind of a counterpoint to that, when I woke up this morning, I weighed myself before and after I went to the bathroom, which I did as soon as I woke up. Um, and I, I urinated like a kilo of water, a, a liter, um, which, uh, yeah, that's like way more than I've ever done in one go. <laughs> uh, at least that I've, like when I compare, I do compare before and after bathroom trips sometimes just out of interest. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. I mean, I, I feel like that's that would be an indication that like I'm drinking a lot of water. I think, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, overall, yeah, it was an interesting, fun experiment. Um, definitely got sick of the banana flavor. I'm never touching that again. I'm definitely not buying that. Um, the cookies and cream one was okay. Starting to get a little bit sick of that, but they do have, I think it was like five to seven vegan flavors on their website. Um, so I'll definitely be buying some uh, to probably have like for breakfast from time to time, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll see you in a few days when I collate the data. All right, so I'm thinking this might be the most uh, scuffed presentation of data you'll ever see, but that's okay. We've got uh, every um, different variable I was tracking uh, in a different um, scatter plot. So the red bars are just to show you where the trial started and where the trial ended. So three days of um, having only quail. Um, so in terms of hunger, yeah, I was definitely like way hungrier during. 
Um, I was I was tracking data so at 8 a.m. midday, 4 p.m., 8 p.m., uh, and 11 p.m. But um, it occurred to me it like these num these numbers that I gave are going to depend a lot on like when I pick those arbitrary times um, because 8 p.m. was usually just after I had dinner and just before I had dinner was usually when I'm at my hungriest. So this doesn't really show that accurately, I guess, like the peaks. Um, I mean, that's just a problem with the arbitrary times I've picked. In hindsight, maybe I should have picked a time that's like a little bit before dinner. Um, so yeah, I think this underrepresents the hunger, but you can see the hunger where like was up. Um, I typically got hungry later during the day. That's kind of represented there. And then after the trial, I was eating more solid food uh, and hunger went down. Uh, energy. Um, yeah, so the first, I don't know how real this is because I think I was just tired the first few days. So it's hard to say. Uh, like this little section uh, before the trial because um, energy seemed like it kind of went up for the most of the trial um, but then it stayed pretty high after so I don't think it really affected my energy that much. Sleepiness, maybe a little bit sleepy during the trial. Um, I don't feel like it affected my sleepiness but uh, yeah I don't, I don't know why else. Um, I mean I think I feel like I slept like roughly okay during those days so maybe there's something to that. Uh, Weight, um, so weight initially went up a little bit. I think I didn't have like a bowel movement for the first day or so. Uh, and I guess it's worthwhile showing bowel movements here. Um, so I'll explain what, how I did this bowel movement first. Um, a, a small bowel movement, I gave a 0.5 uh, for that like time block, um, like regular size bowel movement for me, one um, point and um, large bowel movement was uh, two. So uh, like initially didn't have that many bowel movements for the first um, like, um, what's that? Almost a, a day. I had a small one that day. Uh, so weight kind of went up a little bit uh, and then it dropped quite rapidly towards the end of the trial. Um, and interestingly, like it's pretty quickly gone up to pretty, well, this morning, which is not represented on this data. Um, I'm like back to where I was, but I didn't really have a bowel movement for the last uh, two days since eating solid food. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, um, I feel like I was losing weight um, over this, over the course of this. Uh, two kilos feels like a lot for three days. I don't think that's quite right in terms of like how my actual body mass. I think um, maybe I was just like uh, drinking less or something because I did feel thirstier. I, did, I should have tracked thirst over this trial. I think that would have been useful, but I didn't end up doing that. Um, so anyway, I don't think it was like any massive changes. The biggest changes for me over the course of three days was um, I was definitely hungrier. Um, that could be mitigated with just like eating more quail, to be honest, um, rather than sticking to like the recommended amount per day. And my weight went down a little bit. Climbing ability was a little bit harder to track. Uh, I didn't have enough data points to present any meaningful data like this. I had three data points. Monday, I climbed before the trial. Wednesday, I climbed on the first day of the trial. Friday, I climbed on the last day of the trial. Because um, there's so many other factors that can affect like my climbing ability uh, on any given day. Uh, but overall, I think I was probably a little bit lower in physical LNG than I other than I normally would be, um, just because I was uh, like when I was climbing, to, like happened to be in the afternoon or uh, like early evening, um, when I hadn't eaten that much food. All right. So in conclusion, uh, yeah, I think the biggest differences I noticed over this trial was um, my hunger being higher, my weight going lower. I think that could be mitigated to an extent, as I said, if I just um, ate a little bit more quail every day, especially at dinner. Um, or maybe, maybe at lunch as well. Uh, so yeah, but overall, like, I felt okay. Yeah, other than just being hungry. Um, otherwise I felt actually pretty good. Uh, so wouldn't probably wouldn't do it again for like a full day, um, but definitely going to buy some to uh, do during the day. They have, um, yeah, not buying the banana flavor again, um, but they had some flavors that looked interesting and nice to me. So yeah, I'll get a, get a few of those. Um, probably have them like once or twice a week in the morning when I'm feeling lazy and just want a quick um, quick bit of sustenance. Uh, it's, so one thing I want to talk about, um, I mean, I've got like, when I mentioned this trial, got a little bit of pushback from a few people saying, didn't think it was that healthy. I should just be eating whole food plant-based instead. And that would be better. So the thing is, um, like, so maybe whole food plant-based would be better, but these things don't exist in a vacuum. It's not like, um, eating, having quail is not always going to replace a whole food plant-based meal. Um, it might replace something like peanut butter and toast, or it might replace something, you know, that's not necessarily like whole foods plant-based and particularly healthy. 
So I feel okay about replacing the occasional meal with this. Um, I mean, probably up to like, I honestly think one day, one, one meal of this a day would be completely fine. The other, the other thing to consider is like, even if you have a whole foods plant-based diet, you're not necessarily getting the most like optimal nutrients, um, on a day-to-day -day basis. There might be just some nutrients that you're like missing because you're not eating the right, uh, whole foods. So, you know, the fact that this, you know, might not be perfect, but the fact that it like aims to try and, um, get a hundred percent of your RDI, like on a per meal basis, um, is like a huge benefit. I mean, most people probably don't know how much of their RDI they're getting of like every nutrient, pretty much most nutrients. So having this where like you're getting pretty close is I think pretty good. Like for the average person, I think they could probably benefit from having like one of these a day and they'd probably like fill some of the gaps in their RDIs that they don't even know are gaps. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like pretty positive about uh, this trend towards uh, meal replacements. Um, not everyone agrees with me. Definitely not all vegans agree with me. Um, but uh, I, I'm pretty positive on it. So very happy to, to keep having this. Uh, now, I'm not sponsored by Quill. I really should be. Uh, so Quill, if you're, if you're listening, um, hey, I'm an athlete, I'm vegan, and I like your product, and I'm going to buy it. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Three days, you know, like not the best data set, uh, one person. Yeah, but I just thought this anecdote might be interesting if someone's considering trying Quill or like thinking about some of the um, pros and cons. Hopefully I've given you like my perspective on that. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's all I've got. So hope you enjoyed and see you next time.